SpaceX's prized creation, the Starship, is a big deal. The out-of-this-world vessel currently stands at 160 feet tall and 30 feet wide. Its weight at its lightest will be 260,000 pounds, while it would weigh nearly 3 million pounds when totally full with cargo and passengers. Starships is an advanced piece of space tech. It's all going to be powered by the Super Heavy Rocket Booster, and this booster will be able to power the ship into the outer atmosphere and beyond, but it won't stick around for the rest of the ride. The idea is that the Super Heavy will guide the rocket ship into space, and then will return down to Earth to be refurbished, repaired, and readied for another flight shortly thereafter. Super Heavy is just another example of SpaceX adding reliability to every aspect of space travel. When you think of the Super Heavy cascading back down to the surface of the planet, you would assume that the entire process will take expert precision and attention to detail. There could be no false steps or mistakes made, unless SpaceX wants the Super Heavy to crash and be destroyed. Surely, it'll all be closely monitored and end with the Super Heavy gently touching down on a launching pad at SpaceX headquarters, right? Not exactly. You see, Elon Musk's latest plan is for SpaceX's orbital launch mount to catch Super Heavy. You heard that right. SpaceX is going to catch a massive rocket booster like a baseball player catches a ball. Why is this the path they're taking, and more importantly, is it even possible? Is this just another pipe dream that will never be achieved, or can Musk and his company actually make an orbital launch mount that grabs a hold of this state-of-the-art space booster that costs millions of dollars and has to be handled with the utmost care? Has SpaceX bitten off more than it can chew with this plan? When placed on top of one another, Super Heavy and Starship are going to create the tallest rocket ever built. That's right, SpaceX's massive vehicle is going to break some serious records. While Starship on its own is going to be about 160 feet tall, when it's placed on top of the Super Heavy booster, the entire vessel will measure 394 feet tall. That means it's taller than NASA's Saturn V rocket and their upcoming SLS rocket. Once again, SpaceX has broken the mold and created something for the record books. In August of 2021, Musk's company finally assembled the Starship on top of Super Heavy, in a massive coming out ceremony that Musk proudly showed off on Twitter. This fully stacked assembly really was a sight to behold, and proved just how much progress that the company was making at its Boca Chica, Texas rocket launch facility. SpaceX is still hoping to fire this record-breaking creation into space later this year, and there is no reason to believe that's not going to happen. But why is SpaceX now planning for the orbital launch site, or OLS, to catch the Super Heavy rocket booster once it's finished its job? Firstly, we've got to examine the orbital launch site and get a better idea of just how big of an undertaking this is. An orbital launch site has many different names. Some agencies call it a rocket launch site, others a spaceport or cosmodrome. Essentially, it's a site for launching or receiving, or in this case catching, a spacecraft. Airplanes have airports, boats, and seaports, and spaceships have orbital launch sites. The most common and well-known orbital launch sites includes Cape Canaveral in Florida and the Kennedy Space Center also in Florida. Those two NASA sites have launched flights such as Apollo 7 through 17, Mercury's 3 through 9, and many more. As for SpaceX OLS, it comes in at a massive 469 feet with a 10-foot lightning rod at the top. Constructed from structural steel trusses to allow massive mechanical arms to lift and move rockets, the orbital launch site will sit proudly at SpaceX's Boca Chica rocket launch facility and will be just a half mile away from a beautiful beachfront. SpaceX has finished its plan for its cutting-edge OLS, and they are already hard at work on construction. You can expect to see the final result later this year. As for its name, Elon Musk decided to go with something a little bit more lively than an orbital launch site. He's calling it Mechzilla. Typically, the orbital launch site only has one job to harbor and prepare a space vehicle for flight. The passengers board onto the ship through the OLS, and it serves many important functions like refueling and positioning. It's a pivotal part of the process. However, once the ship has launched and headed up towards the stars, the OLS usually doesn't have a whole lot to do. In the past, its sole goal was achieved after liftoff. Following that, it sits dormant and waits for the launch of the next ship. However, SpaceX is changing all of that with their brand new catching idea. Instead of simply being a place where rockets will launch from, it will now become a place where they can land too. One of the biggest appeals about SpaceX and how they are planning to do things is their plan for reusability. 
being able to fly a rocket and land it and then use it again and again is a game changer. It will save money and time and also energy. Imagine a rocket ship traveling into space, landing back on Earth after its trip is complete and then being prepped to fly again. It works for airplanes, why can't it work for spacecraft too? The idea has been taken to a whole new level with the idea of the OLS catching the super heavy rocket booster. The premise was first revealed by Elon Musk, who perhaps jokingly stated that he received the idea after watching the popular 80s film The Karate Kid. From there, he imagined a giant pair of chopsticks that will grab a hold of the descending Super Heavy. How will this work though? Well, the Starship will be fired and launched from the OLS and shot up into space, powered by the incredible and awe-inspiring strength of the 28 methane-fueled Raptor engines that are assembled in the Super Heavy at the base. The Super Heavy will provide Starship with 16 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, twice the amount of thrust of the original Saturn V that NASA revealed in the 1960s. From there, the Starship and Super Heavy beneath it will fly up, up, up towards the heavens. Just a few moments later, about three minutes into the flight, the Super Heavy booster will separate from the rocket and allow it to travel on its own. That's where the hard work of the OLS begins again. The Super Heavy will come screaming back down to Earth, twisting and turning and lining itself up at tremendous speeds. Also, it can make its proposed target of the orbital launch site the very place it just leapt up from only minutes before. The Super Heavy will slow a little bit before it reaches the OLS, which will have a huge pair of massive arms that will extend out and ready to close and grasp the rockets as they pass through it. Perfectly aligned, the Super Heavy will slide right down into place and be caught with load points just below the grid fins. The tower arms grabbing hold of the rocket booster will be constructed with methods of superior shock absorption so that it can get a firm grasp on the booster and continue to slow it down using its own mass and the ground below it as a force to push back against the Super Heavy. After the epic launch and extreme speeds through the atmosphere and into outer space, the Super Heavy will then land in an upright position, looking just as it did upon liftoff. In many ways, it'll look like it never left at all. While this massive feat of engineering and science hasn't yet been attempted by SpaceX, that hasn't stopped diehard fans from creating realistic simulations of what it would look like. One devoted SpaceX follower tweeted a short video of what he thought the catching device would look like, and Elon Musk himself responded saying it was very close to real. He got into more specifics, saying the catching point on the OLS is off to the side just in case the process doesn't work. That's because SpaceX wants to avoid any damage to the launch mount directly below. Astounding everyone, Musk said that this launching and catching procedure will be done by the orbital launch site and that will allow the super heavy rocket booster to be reused quickly. How quickly? Musk says that the turnaround will be less than an hour. Yet again, that sounds like something that wouldn't be conceivable just a few years ago. And again, SpaceX is aiming for the stars with its goals and innovative ideas. The concept of turning an orbital launch site into a pair of chopsticks is huge. It's never been done before. But there is a lot of testing and work that needs to be done to make sure it's possible and safe. That's why SpaceX employees are hardworking and they're getting on the concept and plans right now to show off their design in just a few months. That means that just before the year is done, you might well see this mind-blowing design put into action. Mexilla lives.